<clears throat> morning carnivores morning wendy <laughs> so i've just i reckon uh, i wish carnival made my tooth young again oh. <laughs> okay so carnival does not regenerate your teeth unfortunately does regenerate your hair sue after i cut my hair for you um it's growing again and it's just as healthy as ever um, I think I needed to cut it uh, because it, since I've cut it, I can brush it without it getting knots. It was very interesting that previous long hair knotted quite easily. Um, but I want to grow it long again, so it's another year and a half to get it to where the length was before I cut it down. Um, okay, just want to give feedback. So my sick, I asked <laughs> Meta AI what I, I put my symptoms into meta ai and i said what illness did i have did i have flu and meta ai reckons i had covid which was interesting a milder form because i never got bunged up in my i never really got too bunged up here but uh, the fever the shivers the shakes the weakness um yeah that was quite real <laughs> it was very real. Anyway, I am now finally better. This is probably, um, what did we say, 20 days? Just, no, on Wednesday it'll be 20 days. So it's today, Saturday. Can't do the sums. So maybe um, 18 days. Yes. <laughs> but there is still this kind of cough. <coughs> Can you, it's quite a... <coughs> sounds quite like a smoker's cough obviously I don't smoke anymore uh, I used to smoke many years ago but it sounds like a smoker's cough but what I'm quite fascinated by this uh, report back is that my wrinkles here are getting less I still haven't lost weight I'm I went down to 61 61.7 um, and then um, I was taking antibiotics for the sick so then I wanted to take yogurt for the microbiome. Um, but you know, if you just got to think straight, Wendy, you haven't been eating yogurt. So you don't have microbiome for yogurt. So why did you take yogurt? So I took sweet, I bought sweet and yogurt because it was just easier than going to the big shop to buy the unsweetened. Uh, and I bought two tubs twice, 500 250 mils, I don't know, can't remember. But it was enough to put my weight up to 62.7. Can you cope with that? Anyway, I weighed myself this morning and 62.3. So I know the daily weighing is not meant to happen, but let's just face it, I'm going to do that now that I have a scale. I mean, my first two years I didn't have a scale. <laughs> I would go and weigh at the vet. Okay, um, the other thing I wanted to speak about, carnivores to get sick, but carnivores to get better. Okay, this cough is still quite interesting that I've still got this cough, this residual cough. I feel fit, I feel well, I'm able to do my work again. Um, I am a bit low, like, uh, oh, and I'm waking up at five again, so that was interesting, that's a new change. I was waking up at 6 and close to 7 but I'm waking up um, almost not wanting to get up so the carnival wake up is still in place Oops, eyes open I can move but I think it's on a um, on an emotional level there is a little bit of drama going down so what's very interesting for me um, Somebody's creating drama for a friend of mine. Um, they're lying. They're spreading um, false truths behind her back. They're blaming her for things that they themselves actually caused. 
and I was involved to some extent because of the horse that I was working on. So the horse I was working on, um, its tongue got severed in an accident, not severed off, um, very badly lacerated. And then um, they gave it time to heal, but they, they rushed the healing and they put the bit in the mouth again. And as a body worker, I had said, leave that tongue. A tongue tissue is, your tongue muscle is the strongest muscle in the body. But the tissue of the tongue is, give it chance to heal properly because if it was kind of really deep, it would, um, it, there would be nerve, uh, needing nerve regeneration and just fascia connections and just give it chance. Don't put a bit in the mouth. Ride the horse without a bit. Now you can ride a horse without a bit. You can train a horse to do, you can train a horse. If, if you take the time and do it according to knowledgeable ways, kind ways, you can train a horse to do anything, to ride off a whistle, you know. Um, like the one horse that are <laughs> doesn't always stop. So yes, you can train the horse, but uh, you've got to put the work in. You have to put the work in to train the horse. And it can take a hundred repetitions for an unruined horse, unspoiled in that action, hundred repetitions. But it needs it like a thousand repetitions um, for it to become part of the horse's go-to, instant first go-to. Also, if you if you've got to go back and, and fix up what was done before, it's a little bit harder. You know, the biblical scripture that says, train up a child in the way he will go, and when he's old he won't depart from it. Well, the same thing happens with the horses. If you train them in the way they should go when they're, when they're young, and they're not going to... So my chicken's talking with me. This is the egg, this is the egg gift uh, that's having... She's going to go and get herself ready to gift that egg. Um, okay, she's leaving. Let's hope. Right, so the person um, said, no, the horse was too hot, bitless, but I mean, you hadn't put the effort in to train it. I didn't know that they'd put a bit back in the mouth. Um, so I was under the understanding the owner of the horse, the rider, and the coach that the horse was going to be trained bitless and allow their tongue to recover. But what happened in the interim, they actually put a bit in the mouth and lunged the horse and it had a second incident and the tongue was severed again, the same place. So obviously the first healing hadn't ha fully happened. So the second severing was really bad. Right. So then they were going to go bitless, give a chance to heal. Bum, 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 bum. It needs, nerve regeneration needs one year. Hmm. Anyway, the coach didn't do what she was supposed to do. So they started riding the horse with a bit and damaged the tongue again, um, nerve damage and the mouth was hanging as if it had had a stroke and the whole face was in um, pain and spasm and then they started blaming my friend. You know, so I don't understand it because um, the coach told the owner <laughs> the, that Somebody else had told her to put a bit in the mouth. I'm like, what? Huh? I had said, bitless. And the other person had just given them contact numbers. Hmm. So now, what does a carnival do? <laughs> what does a carnival do with this kind of story? Um, a Christian carnival prays and asks God for wisdom. Uh, Christian carnival prays and asks God to please guide the person that's making trouble um, through spreading lies, uh, false witness. Hmm. Anyway, I think that's why I'm not ready to face the day because it's been quite a long drawn out. Um, I've I've resigned from working on those. Um, I gave. The, the lady the option to rather just um, she was saying that they needed to get an acu excuse me acupuncture treatment for the horse and then the owner said um, there's a money problem I said well then you just leave me out of it 
excuse me, I'm burping from my, my black coffee. Oh, my black coffee. I'm I needed to eat breakfast. So I don't, I don't need to eat breakfast because I'm hungry, but my stomach gets all burpy if I don't eat. And it's not going to be happy to, um, so I think I must make myself an egg. One of the eggs that that hen um, shared with me. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy black coffee. So it's black coffee, salt, and butter. I can't have all coffee. I was putting um, bicarbonate of soda in as well because it just adds a different flavor to it. But I've run out of bicarb, and then I thought, okay, I'm going to stop with the bicarb. Um, the thing that I have started taking, um, I've started taking ashwagandha for the um, dopamine balancing and also I'm taking a medley of uh, L-lysine, magnesium, um, so it's for pain and it's for pain, Is it's the natural mix for pain. But I wanted the IL lysine to come into the system because of the COVID that I had. Did I have COVID? I think I did. You know, if I look at the symptoms, it, it makes sense. Um, and it was a long, it was a long sick. It's not like flu that's sick for four days, seven days, you know. No, it was a long sick. And plus I got better and crashed and was really sick. Got better, crashed, was really sick. So it happened more than once. So yeah, we'll just say it was COVID have to give that little you had COVID and support um, okay what is this carnival talking about <sighs> life happens to carnivals and one does get depressed despondent because of life happening my overall being <laughs> so last night okay this was very interesting as well so last night um, I wake up wide awake <laughs> um, and I haven't been waking up at night we know this ever since I've slept through which is like three and a half months now where the weight gain came from and the, not drinking water so <laughs> I woke up whoops wide I, I the cat was playing with a red Roman so it's not a spider I mean it's it's a red Roman is uh, it's not a spider the red, I've forgotten what it is now. It's an ant-like, but it looks very scary, and it's very scary. And the the red Roman was on my shoes. So I leave my shoes, you know, they've got a space there. So they're next to my bed, near my bed. So the cat's playing with the red Roman. I am sitting up in the bed. Eventually, I'm standing on the bed because I'm so scared of them. They can run up walls. They can run up beds. <laughs> I'm so scared. And I don't want to kill the red Roman because the red Roman is a very, very interesting prehistoric insect. So I don't want to kill the red Roman. But, I mean, it's early hours of the morning. I'm like, what are we going to do here? Eventually, I go and fetch a bucket. Now, I'm not very clever because our bucket's round. So you want to put it on the ground and chase the red Roman into the bucket and scoop it up. <laughs> and I'm like, when he's not going to run into the bucket because it's round. So I'm like, at some point in time, um, I throw something over it. So there's a blanket over the red Roman. So I'm pushing the blanket out with a broom. And then the next minute, it comes out from under the blanket and it's just frozen in the middle of the floor. So I took the bucket and I put it upside down over the red Roman. So the red Roman's still in the bucket. Now I've asked my son, who um, has tarantulas and stuff like that snakes and he's, uh, I'm definitely an arachnophobe I'm definitely not very fond of, of even though the red Roman is not a spider it is mm, I'm gonna just google it because I can't remember but it's not a spider I think it's of the ant family so yes the red Roman is still under the bucket so on top of like the, still in the bathroom <laughs> Because I got it as far as the bathroom last night. Shame. I hope I didn't hurt it. You know, I'm 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 really partial snakes, spiders, birds, insects of any nature, but not in my not in my home, no, not in my home, not near my bed. Yeah. 
So um, I'm quite fascinated. I've still got this little hangy, hangy thing. I started Wim Hof's breathing uh, with uh, my son. That's my China son. Um, so did his breathing. So I wonder, see, uh, this is still old person. Um, okay, I think I'm going to leave it at that. <sighs> you know, listen to this, it's still a bit of a... <laughs> yeah, so what is that? That's the leftover from the COVID. Okay, but the carnivore does heal, hey? Carnivores heal very easily, I think. I just wish my teeth, like I said, my teeth would regenerate. I'll be happy if my teeth regenerated. And get implants. My YouTube channel, my, my Horses Horses YouTube channel, needs to become financially viable because that's where I, I'm hoping. It's earning money, but it's not earning lots of money. But that's where I'm hoping I would get income to do the teeth. Because my general life, I, I'm, I'm working at half. I'm semi-retired. <laughs> I don't want to work hard anymore. I'm semi-retired. I eased on the body work. And like, you know, every time I give up a client. So I do maintenance body work. We I work on the same horse every week. And then uh, uh, it's wonderful wonderful for the horses the horses love it i love it and then i stopped doing the um, random clients which maybe i would work on the horse twice or three times um, i stopped that for two reasons number one i didn't feel like traveling anymore so i would end up having to travel i didn't feel like doing the traveling anymore and the second reason is that i would give the owner of the horse exercises to do riding to do, um, physical in-hand things to do, um, like this one with the bit. Please ride the horse bitless, take it through the training, it can be retrained. If you can't do it, I can help you. If you don't want me to do it, you can get some fancy name person to do it, um, but you can retrain it. I can teach, all my kids end up riding with neck um, reins. Um, the horses are, can ride off whistle stop and, and verbal goes and aids like that. Um, it just depends on the rider. If the rider wants it, the rider will learn it. But like with this horse with a tongue, the coach didn't buy into what I was saying. The parent didn't buy into what I was saying. And the rider listened to the coach and the parent. So what is the point of me giving the horse a weekly session and making him feel good because they also communicate with me. So they also speak to me. They tell me this is the problem. And then I've got to say, sorry, dude. Sorry, dude. Your humans are mean-hearted, unkind. They're willing to abuse you by putting something on their tongue that hasn't healed yet. The bit itself caused the severing, and not severed, laceration, quite bad. The bit caused it. So now why, and exactly where the bit lies in the horse's mouth, that's where the wound is. I don't understand it, you know, and I've, I've known the coach for many years, and I've known the owner for many years, and I can't understand it. Where is who disrespect to that horse? Where is that disrespect to that horse? You know, I almost, um, I don't want to wish evil on people because as a Christian, that's not, as a child of God. I'm born again, I'm Wendy, and I'm born again. I am not to curse, the, 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 God is quite emphatic. Bless your enemies. So I see her as an enemy. She's a hostile horse owner, hostile horse coach. But I have to bless her and I have to ask God to please guide her. Please go and see now immediately I want to say give her a clap beside the head and say wake up. Wake up. Yeah, can you see the, the carnival? This carnival is not a happy carnival. But this Christian carnival is now praying that God would just wake her up. Wake them up. Okay. 
I'm done. <laughs> 20 minutes long of a rant. Mm -hmm.